For Action News, I'm Mana Dolosky, and this is your health news update. A soon-to-be-published book on thimerosal has the potential to be quite dangerous, as the vaccine preservative is painted as a threat to human health. And worse yet, the author, Robert F. Kennedy. In his book, Kennedy describes that the levels of mercury in vaccines are dangerous, while the scientific evidence says they're not. Thimerosal is ethyl mercury, not environmental mercury, and it's excreted from the body far more quickly. In fact, breast milk contains far higher levels of mercury than you'll ever find in vaccines. But despite the scientific evidence proving vaccines are safe, reasoning with those like Kennedy seems to be a fruitless endeavor. So we'll move on. In related fear-mongering news, Oregon is now joining the ranks of states trying to pass GMO labeling laws. The law would require labels on raw or packaged foods containing GMOs. Nothing new to say here, though. We and like-minded science groups have argued that these labeling laws would be costly and misleading. The bottom line, GMOs are safe and they've been proven safe by numerous scientific studies, the same studies that helped defeat many of those proposed laws in California and Washington. A New York Post headline about ground zero workers and cancer will get your attention, which is the goal. We understand the issue is a touchy one, and to many it would seem obvious that breathing in the fumes and dust of the wreckage is bound to cause harm to the heroes who looked for survivors. One year later, 50 cancers were added to the compensation eligible ailments for World Trade Center workers, and now there are more than 2,500 cancer cases. But even we here at AXA were surprised to learn Dr. John Howard, who was given overall medical oversight over the cancer cases, failed to find evidence that cancers of any type could be scientifically linked to the World Trade Center dust exposure. To read more on these stories and others, you can head to our website, aksha.org. And while you're there, don't forget to also sign up for your daily dose of news delivered right to your inbox. For Action News, I'm Anna Dolosky.